Communications Interoperability Continuum Simplified. The Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs, Emergency Medical Services Chiefs of Canada, and the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police, working together to improve public safety interoperability. Brought to you by the Canadian Interoperability Technology Interest Group, CTIG. A long time ago, first responders served their local community. Voice communications helped members of the agency to work together. As new agencies came on board, they brought their own communications infrastructure and operating procedures. Each agency did their own thing, but they quickly realized teamwork yielded better results. Agencies started to informally coordinate their activities. The local agencies recognized the value of working seamlessly together and wanted to pursue communications interoperability at the local level. Getting the agencies to interoperate required leadership and decision-making, also known as governance. They came up with a plan outlining the interoperability objectives and milestones. Standard operating procedures were defined, and each agency was trained on how to work together. Exercises were staged to shake the bugs out. The governance team took the decision to have each agency swap radios, so the agencies could at least communicate in times of crisis. They planned to work together at local events. They even activated the interop protocol to open radio channels on a daily basis so that it would never be forgotten. While town chiefs of emergency management agencies were happy, they realized they could not interoperate with the next town, communicate effectively with neighboring state and provincial organizations, or the major chemical plants and refineries just outside the town limits. They proposed a regional communications interoperability initiative. This involved more players with diverse priorities. In this situation, effective governance and leadership are paramount, and the need for a defined plan is essential. While having everyone interoperate on voice and data would be wonderful, the governance body must carefully limit the scope to something affordable and achievable. The plan outlines the expected outcomes and phases. The plan shows how things evolve, and it shows what is out of scope. The recipe for success still applies. The governance bodies will be larger, the SOPs will cover more things, training exercises will involve more agencies, and technology solutions will involve more than just swapping radios. Most important, having a communications interoperability strategic plan is the roadmap to the future. Take a look at your Canadian communications interoperability continuum. Figure out where you are and where you want to go. Plan to go to the next level, if appropriate, for your agency. Want to know more? Visit CTIG online at www.citig.ca.